<laughs> Who the fuck is William? <laughs>
Your clothes are not invincible. Yes, because yes. I've seen it on sh movies where the clothes go invisible. <laughs> yes. no, you're gonna have to be naked <laughs> when you want to get uninvisible. You're gonna be freaking naked. Just clothes go invisible. Do they? Yes. Do they? Do they? Your phone. My phone. Yes, it's gonna go invisible. Everything that touches my body goes invisible. So you're gonna have to like wish with that with your wish, Cater. Yeah. <laughs> you have to like. Everything that I'm have touching or on my body goes invisible when I go invisible. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Anyways, next question. Okay. What's your favorite season? Um, summer. Because I love going to the beach and like you can do a lot more stuff in the summer. Like, honestly, why are you rolling your eyes at me? That was literally mine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that question. Anyways, I wanted to go to the beach because, like, I love going to the beach. And I also hate the time when Katrina and Ka my older sister Kayla and her best friend Rachel went to the beach without me. So, yeah, it was the first day my sister got her license and they went to the beach without me. Took her best friend instead of me. Um, are you going to ask me? Oh, yeah, what was your favorite season? fall or summer <clears throat> summer summer's top uh fall summer two one because my birthday's in the fall and um it's just so pretty yeah it's also really pretty like i love taking pictures and like to getting pictures taken of me in the fall like with the leaves falling and my blonde hair like oh i just look so perfect this like i'm your first fall this is your first fall having blonde hair what are you talking about okay well when i had my red hair okay. i was perfect i did okay, blend in with off. a couple trees but i was perfect <laughs> okay um and yeah like as you said there's a lot of like other things to do like in orangeville there's not a lot to do in the winter at all can i see where i live <laughs> probably not a good idea you might want to cut that out orangeville's fine orangeville's a big okay okay um like in orangeville can you like cut that whole stupid thing out <laughs> okay um like in orangeville there's like rib fest there's blues and jazz there's what's the other one um not the fall fair no blues and jazz i think that's all of them. there's one more but i kind of forget what it's called is blue is, the one you know the one that i'm talking about do you guys know all they do it on broadway <gasps> what is that one called the one that they do on broadway oh yeah but there's another one is there not is there not another one or am i just lying to myself Okay. okay anyways well, there's a lot more to do in there and you can go to the beach and you can wear less clothing and you don't have to, to freeze your butt off okay. next question okay how how do you set healthy boundaries in a personal plus romantic relationships um my first answer to that was really stupid because i didn't understand the question <laughs> um but i think as long as you have like those boundaries set you can maintain yeah that. but what would the healthy boundaries be like like if you were in a romantic if was, relationship if i was in like a serious relationship with someone i wouldn't going through phones wouldn't wouldn't have to be a thing what do you mean like i don't want to feel that i have to go through your phone like would you do it like would you would you do it like don't have to feel like it but like you're just on their phone would you let them just go on your phone if i was just like sitting on their phone like looking at something mm -hmm. i don't want them to be like on edge about it yeah because that's not good like i like, just want there to be edge. like yeah like i want there to be trust i want there to be like a level of trust where you know that like your partner if you took their phone and went through it they wouldn't chase after you yeah um what do you think? Oh. Oh, this one where I want to be in five years out. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Um, you for mine, I think that um, having boundaries is a really good thing in a relationship, like she said. And it's just like having trust really like mm -hmm. you have to have trust in a relationship if there's no trust there's no point in being in that relationship like that's what i live by when being in relationships is that if there's no trust i don't want to be in this relationship yeah and if you don't feel like there's that connection yeah like you don't want to be in that you relationship can't be forcing either. yourself into it also another thing about relationships um i think this was supposed to be a topic for like another it was podcast yeah. or something anyways but 
you don't have to be in a relationship just for the title. I know a lot of girls who want relationships just because they want the title of having the boyfriend. Oh, yeah. And they just be with, like, guys who, like, like good-looking guys, like, nice mm-hmm. guys, but just because they want a boyfriend. Like, yeah, like, there's a lot of nice guys, but then there's girls that, like, go and be, like, they only want to date you because they want the title of the relationship and not because uh-huh. they actually want a relationship and want to be with you. Yeah. And so they're basically using the nice guy, and that's, like, it's like you're leading them on. When, when someone's leading you on in a relationship, it's like that. Yeah, being let on is shitty. Okay, next question. Anyways. Is it my turn? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you like the person that you are? The person that you've become? I think, yeah. Like, I've grown a lot since I was younger, and I feel like that, um, that is, like, good in, like, the way that I've grown. Mm-hmm. And, like, I like the person that I am now, and I think I've learned, like, a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And all yeah. that, you know? Yeah. I think um I enjoy who I am. I enjoy the people around me who make me who I am. Um I think me as a person, I could 100% be a nicer person. I could be more forgetful. I could be more like just things like that. Like I could be more of other things, but me as a person, I think that I like who I have become in the past couple of years. If I could compare myself, if I could talk to myself like three years ago, like me sitting on this chair and me three years ago sitting on that chair and had a real conversation with them, I think a lot of the things that like we would talk about would be mm-hmm. different. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like we'd had different perspectives, like, three, yeah. three years ago, like, we'd have a completely different perspective. Mm-hmm. Persca- like, like, right now, I can sit in the car and have, like, a full-on, like, heart-to-heart talk with, like, my mom or my aunt, and then, like... But three years ago from now, we wouldn't be able to do that. Like, like I would have been able to, but, like, I wouldn't have, like, made it make sense. Like, I could have a conversation with my aunt and she would I would agree with her and I would know where she's coming from and we'd be able to help each other out with specific things Mm -hmm. but me like three years ago I would have just been like well like they weren't in the wrong like you were in the wrong yeah like you would be like that like Uh completely like that but you've changed a lot yeah like you're not like that anymore and I think I'm not as self-centered as I used to be yeah 100% because you just think everything was all about you and like and I hated it, it, it. It revolved around you, and like you, ch- you changed, and like you're not like that anymore. I hated it when anyone talked about anyone else in front of me. Oh yeah, I hated did. it. I would change the subject to be about myself. I love talking about myself. I love talking about myself now. But it's not as bad as it was before. But like sometimes when like our mom, me and her are talking, or like you come up, or like Kayla, like I don't quickly change the subject just so that I can talk about myself. Yeah, I finish the conversation with her and I don't bring up myself because if it's not about me I don't need to make it about me and I don't need to be that person anymore yeah you know what I mean yeah uh what would you say your biggest strength is um my biggest strength has to be um I don't think any, like, come to mind when someone asks me that question, but I definitely feel like a big strength of mine has to be how I've, like, evolved and how I can look at myself now versus, like, you know you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm yeah. able to look at myself in the mirror and see me, not see some girl that I was trying to be yeah. or who I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. What about you? Um... I don't really know what my biggest strength would be, to be honest with you. Like, do you know, like, what you think my biggest strength would be? Because nothing really comes to mind when I'm thinking, like, my biggest strength. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Okay, so before we move on to the next, uh, like, couple questions, I just want to say, um, I just want to... Sorry. I just want to take a moment to thank this week's sponsor, BCB. I was about to say BBC. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. 
Can you like cut that and just let me redo it? Okay, redo it. Okay. Before we move on to any of the other questions, I just want to take a moment to thank this week's sponsor, BCB Productions, for letting us use this amazing studio. Guys, if you are enjoying our podcast, please subscribe and click the little bell so you can get notifications as soon as an episode drops. Thank you all. Okay. Um, what is your dream? I what is your idea of a dream date? Um, I don't have like a super big like dream date, but like I think it would be super cute. Like for like a little teenage relationship, I think it'd be so cute to like go to like a fair. Like oh my god, yes, Ferris wheel fair together. dates are so cute. I want to do that. I want to go on the Ferris wheel together. or like go to like uh Wonderland. Yes, that mm-hmm. would be actually really cute because I love seeing the couples at Wonderland. Except like, for oh the fact god, that I literally I scream so ugly no on every ride because i look hideous i might like oh on Stop, the ride no. one time when i was at uh wonderland one time i was with some people and rachel i think it was rachel she took a picture wait should i not say names no you can keep going okay i'm really sorry for like keeping and pausing i just really am like you keep messing up and he's gonna have to cut all this i out. know i'm really sorry Okay, um, I think it was my friend one time, we, someone took a picture of me on a ride, because they weren't on the ride at the moment, or it was, like, my sister or something. She took a picture of me on the ride, and I'm such an ugly screamer. Uh-huh. It's so It's bad. like how Kayla's an ugly cryer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, imagine being on that with your boyfriend and your mouth wide open, eyes wide open. Uh, stop, I never want to go to Wonderland with him now. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Your turn. I already know yours. Uh, oh, yeah, my dream day. I want to go to a beach <laughs> on sunset and have a picnic. Like, I just find it so cute. And, like, take, like, cute little sun pic- sunset pictures on the beach. Like, oh, yeah. yes. Like, I, like, it just, I feel like that'd be really cute. And it has to be a picnic. And it's not, like, store-bought food. Oh. It has to be made by them. Because it's not made by them. I'm like, bye. Like, fucking get out of here. Like, like no. I could go buy that myself, kind. You don't meet my expectations. Exactly. I'm a bitch. I could go and get that myself. Exactly. Like, make it yourself and be a like, big yeah. boy and cook it yourself and make you it. Can, like, they can go buy the stuff from the store. Yeah, but they have but to they have make like... it with love and, like, with yeah. their hands. Like, it makes it even more special. Or not your hands with, like, a knife or a yeah, fork. Yeah. Or yeah. But, like, you know. But, you like, and, like, they have to get the little basket to put it in yes. that open. Yeah. It's like, oh, my and, God. And, like, bring, like, a cute, like, stuffy or, like, yes and like the blankets and pillows on the yeah like see but it can't be a blanket it has to be like a cute like uh silk sheet yes silk sheets are so nice Mm -hmm. and then like bring a blanket if you're watching (laughs) bring a blanket just in case it's cold yeah because like you might be there for a little while you know yeah you never know (laughs) yeah exactly and you have to wear bathing suit under yeah so you can go swimming because i'm gonna be going swimming i don't care if it's a day i'm going swimming exactly even with my hair pushed back making me look bald i'm going swimming yeah like try them you're gonna break up with me because i'm ugly do it bitch i won't swim (laughs) like what right okay anyways it's that one that's the only one dun 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 Babe, that's time. We didn't do that one. This one. Favorite movie. I have a lot. Do you? Um, mine are. Oh, that's a little far away. Anyways, um, mine. I think they would be. I really love white chicks. <laughs> Stop. It's actually a really good movie. Like I love it so much, and um, I also like all the grown-up movies. Like they're hilarious, and I ever are they hilarious? they're hilarious. Like they're yeah. literally hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then like it's just really funny, and I rewatch them all the time. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. Okay. Um, I said what, Kate. What's your favorite movie? Okay. So my top five, <laughs> um, have to be okay. I'm not into, like, the romantic, like... I am totally yeah. am. Like, I'm totally, like, all like, romantic I stuff. love reading, but, like, I don't like reading romantic books. I don't like watching romantic movies. Anyways, okay. My favorite movies... She's the man. These are not in order. These are just, like... <gasps> oh, my God. I She's forgot the about man. that one. That one's on my list, That's too. That's my favorite for so long. Don't even question. It's so good. I know the whole thing. Off um, by she- her? Yeah. <laughs> of course Can, you like, do. Pretty Little Liars. Oh, my God. Oh, Wait, next next one's ask your favorite TV and, like, show. With Grace. Yeah. Okay, she's the man. White chicks. I had a crush on one of the guys. Actually, which one? I don't remember that. Anyways, um, white chicks. The assault. 
Uh, what's here? I forget what it's called, but it's something 16. Um, I know what you're talking about. I don't think you do. No, um... It's about those girls that, like, are trapped down and people, like, sell- cut their faces off and, like, sell their faces and stuff. Yeah, no, I have no idea what you're talking okay. about. That's a little creepy. <laughs> like, <laughs> why? I'll figure out the name of that. Um... What's your favorite TV show? Who says I was done, babe? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, so, okay. that movie. I'm gonna figure out the name of that. And then, um... I'm done. Okay, yeah, um, thanks. All right, so what's your favorite TV show? Pretty Little Liars. Anything else? Pretty Little Liars. Um, 100%. I think you're forgetting one. Because we know you love Grace. I don't even. Don't even. You know you watch it secretly when I used to play it on the TV. No, my second favorite show is Imposters. <laughs> Stop! Why is that your second favorite show? It's just such a good show, and it, like, teaches you, like, morals in life. Mm, baddie. Like, okay. <laughs> and I want to live Maddie's life. <laughs> like, I want to be that girl. Okay. So I could be anyone in the world. <gasps> okay, wait. Go. Um, I think mine are Gilmore Girls. I love that. Grace. Yeah. I literally watch. I'm still watching it. Because <laughs> there's, like, 19 seasons, and I'm like, okay, okay pop off. Yeah. And then, um... What else is my other ones? Um, what is that show called? Oh, Bones. I'm watching that right now. It's really good. It's all about these this girl that's like literally obsessed with Bones and like this FBI agent. You know what I'm talking about? I also really like like Disney shows, like ones I used to watch, like iCarly, Jesse. So iCarly, Jesse. Um, how did Bones make you think of that? Because it's on us. I was thinking of Criminal Minds. Oh, Criminal Minds, yes, that's my other one. Criminal Minds. I love like the cop shows, and I love SWAT. Like yeah. I, I love everything about like cop shows. It's just oh, I like know. something I like, and I like Rookie Blue. Oh my god, that's a good one. Okay. Okay. My next one was going to be favorite like artist of like a song. I don't really or, like, have a favorite artist. Mine is. Like, this oh. is what I'm saying. Like, I can't think of any artist. I don't have artists. a favorite artist, but, like, I could name, like, favorite songs. Yeah, like, I know the songs, but not the artists. No, and I, I know, know the, the lyrics in the songs, but not the song name. Before He Cheats. <gasps> definitely favorite song. <gasps> That's one of my favorite songs. And Stay by Rihanna. Oh, my God. Uh, anyways. Um, I like... You don't even like Before He Cheats. Why are you saying that? I just like singing and screaming it. Okay. Because you like to slash the tires? <laughs> hey, what's your tip on slashing the tires, huh? Uh, only slash three, because insurance covers all four. Or cut that out. <laughs> Why are you always saying that? Keaton. Okay. Cut that bitch out. <laughs> keep Good that rap moment. Live. Oh my god. Can you keep that rap moment in, please? I'm so glad we're not live. I'd actually... Um, so what are your thoughts on teenage relationships? Like, I think a lot of them, I think a lot of people in relationships are just with, like, as I said, are just with people for, like, titles. Uh, I know this one girl who was with this guy, like, just for the title, which I thought it was really stupid because I'm like, you could have gone for any other guy that you actually liked, but you went for this guy. And the fact that and then cheated on him with this other guy, but the girl, the girl that you're talking about, she cheats on every guy that she dates. I feel that. And like she it's can't have a serious thing. relationship. So like. But it okay. Anyways, enough. Um, enough talking shit. Yeah. Um. Um. But I think I think like young relationships, like, um, what is happening here? <laughs> anyways um okay i think no i was saying something oh, okay, i think young that like young relationships like grade like seven six relationships are really cute because like you know how like they have like they oh my god like first yeah, and then they like post it but then also it's so stupid because then people like in grade nine or like eight are like like hug and like record them hugging and are like 
first grade relationship, sixth grade relationship. Yeah, like I find that so stupid. This is why I don't hug Brian at school because yeah. like when people are big, take photos of like first grade relationships, sixth grade relationships. You're like, shut up. Like it's just stupid. Um, and I think that like, like a lot of people when they're in relationships, they te- don't really la- like they last, but like a lot of people like our age like cheat on their Mm -hmm. uh, like their other spouses or whatever and it's just like yeah it's just like a thing like i know someone that's cheating on their girlfriend right now okay sorry that probably shouldn't have been said can't drop names but yeah but like yes like i know someone and like it's just like the fact that i want to tell her but because i feel bad because they've been dating for a while and it's just like yeah but anyways um so another opinion that i have on it is you don't need i don't know i did that with my hand but you don't need a boyfriend to fit in with the crowd you don't need a boyfriend to get you shit you don't need a boyfriend to send you snaps in the morning you don't need a boyfriend or girlfriend sorry i'm saying boyfriend but like a lot of people are gay so boyfriend or girlfriend okay um a lot of you with your girlfriends too like i feel like a lot of relationships these days don't really last and i feel like it's because not just cheating but i feel like it's so young they think that it's gonna last forever and then it doesn't and then it doesn't and then they're like heartbroken and like because they like plan out because they plan out like their like uh future future yeah like i know one of my friends they've planned out their future with their boyfriend now yeah. and they've been together for almost a year now so okay. like i get that but like it's not gonna last forever yeah it could but like it might not yeah like their relationship is kind of toxic mm-hmm. so like it's not gonna last forever okay next question there are none um <laughs> What is your opinion on men? Oh my god, don't. Uh, sometimes I think men are stupid, but like that sounds so rude, but like sometimes they like oh god, like they don't know what to do or what to say and it just like come on now like speak your mind. Uh, like don't act dumb. I know you're not dumb. Also, back to teen relationships, I really hate when all guys want is like sex or oh. like nudes or want you to give them head want you to be a munch like why are you wanting to be sexual but not seen out in public with me yeah like the fact that they just want a sexual relationship but not be seen out in public is like a huge red flag and when they like see you and like public they like ignore you yeah i remember that guy that i had the relationship with and he ignored me in public yeah anyways um Okay, what's another thing we can talk about? You said, what's your opinion on men? I gave my opinion. What's your opinion? I don't want to give up. Um. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <coughs> what do you think um, is going to happen when you go into high school with, like, making new friends and stuff like that? Like, how do you think that's going to go for you? Um, you told me a lot about, like, you make friends with the people in your classes. And I am a little, like, I know a couple people that go, like, in that are in high school, like, the high school that I'm going to. I know a lot of people in that school, and I don't know a lot of people that are going to that school that I'm, like, chill with, whatever. But I still feel like it's going to be hard to, like, make a friendship and build on that, only because you didn't have, like, a long friendship, like, at first. But then the ones that you did have a long friendship with, you, like, grow apart from, like, once you get to high school. Yeah, like, that happened with mine. Like, I've grown apart from my long-lasting friendships. But I made, like, like I said to you, like, you're going to make a lot of new friends in, like... Yeah, like, a bunch more friends. In, in, like, your classes. And it's going to be, like, some of them are just going to be, like, classes friends. Like, you're not going to hang out with them at lunch or whatever. But then there's, like, the few that will be, like, you're hanging out at lunch, like, hang out during class, like, all of that. Like, Charlotte? Yeah. She... I can say hers, anyways. I know. I just realized. Um... Oh, Charlotte was a in-class friend, and then she turned into hang out at lunch, all that stuff, and, like, hang out yeah. outside of school, friend, yeah. you know? So it's, like, you'll have a lot of those. Like, you have a lot of in-class friends, which is good, because when you're no, in class, it's... you're not going to be all lo- the loner that sits in the back. Yeah. But, like, 
no offense to them like they have friends too they might just not be in your the class yeah, you know and i feel that no because i feel like when i get to new classes i'm going to be the like no friends at first and i really i'm really awkward like with making friends at first i wouldn't say i'm socially awkward because i'm not but like when it comes to like making new friends I feel like it's really awkward because I don't know what to say. I don't know how to act because I don't know, like, the people that they talk to. Like, the what they do with their friends. How, like, what interests them and stuff like that. So, I don't know, like... Mm-hmm. Most of the people that I had, like, classes with or whatever, I had had them on Snap. So, I, like, was friends with them through there. Mm-hmm. And then, so, we became, like, school friends like when we were in class and it made it a lot easier so most every class that i had i had a friend in Mm -hmm. and if i didn't i would make one like my cooking class i didn't have any friends i had lily actually Uh she was my friend but i made like so many more Uh in my cooking class like some of my best friends now are the ones i made in cooking class Mm -hmm. you know so yeah i just feel like it's gonna be awkward like trying to make new friends like just like talking about that like going up to someone because i find that that's really hard. yeah you you find yeah you find t- going up and talking to someone like really hard to do uh-huh it's like it but is then, no but sorry but like once we start talking and talking then i'm not embarrassed to be like yeah it is like it's hard at first to actually go up to them and start talking but like if you get put into groups with them it makes it a lot easier uh-huh. like being putting into groups and then talking to them through the groups it's a lot easier than just like going up to them yeah. hey yeah i want to be friends Can you know be friends like let's talk yeah you did all okay those. um if you could have a point of view like if you knew how people thought of you from their point of view, mm-hmm. what do you think they would say? Sorry, can you repeat that? If you knew how people talked about you, uh-huh. like how they looked at you in their point of view, yeah. what do you think they would, like, say? That, like, I'm, like, not, like, bitchy, but, like, I can, like, I have, like, a resting bitch face when yeah. it comes to, like, people I don't know. Mm-hmm. I feel like they'd say that about me. Mm-hmm. What about you? Um, I feel like they'd say, like, I feel like they'd be, like, she looked, like, maybe, like, she was a bitch at first, but then when she got to know her, she was, like, nice, and she, like, cared for her friends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, basically, so, this is, like, a hypothetical question, right? Yeah. But, like, it's a question. So, all my friends have boyfriends and bug me and not about not having one, but I like girls and not boys. Should I tell them? And I'm worried that they won't like me. What should I do? Um, that's kind of a hard question. Like, I just feel like if you don't feel like you're comfortable coming out, then there's nothing you can really do. But then you can also, like, if you have that mindset that, like, fuck everyone, I like girls. If you don't like that, then don't talk to me. Like, I want to be with a girl. But And if you have a problem with that. What happens if you're going to lose all your friends? Like, they're going to feel like it's, like... I lost my friends because I'm gay. Yeah. Um, well, it's never a good idea to hide that you're gay. Eventually, you're it's, going to It's going to come out. Y- yeah, you're going to need to come out. Yeah. Like, you, people can hide it for a long time, but, like, after a but while, people gonna are going to start to notice. It's not, not, not even just that. It's not going to make you feel good inside knowing yeah. that you're hiding that from your friends. Like, if I was gay and I talked to you every day um you wouldn't realize that i was gay but you would but then i would feel bad for not like saying something to you yeah it's just like the internal feeling Uh like i feel bad that i'm lying to my friends about being gay and not telling them but then i don't say anything because Because i feel like they'll drop me or they'll stop talking and you're worried that they're gonna say something Mm -hmm. yeah it's really that you gotta like trust them i guess when just you gotta just kind of trust your instinct if you feel Whatever makes you feel, like, whatever your mind is telling you to do, that's what you gotta do. You gotta listen to your brain, bitch. Yeah. Okay, so this is a viewer question. Is your boyfriend's best friend is hitting on you and flirting with you, and you're starting to like him, but you still really like your boyfriend. What should you do? Go for the best friend. Why? Because, I know that sounds stupid, but you wouldn't have fallen for the best friend if you 
if you were that in love with your boyfriend. Exactly, though. Like, if you were that in love with your boyfriend, you would have never even had a thought cross your mind that you like this other person. Uh-huh. So, um, just... So, I would say go for the best friend because you wouldn't have fallen for the best friend if you were that in love with the boyfriend. What do you think? Yeah, I feel the same way. Like, if you were that in love with the boyfriend, you wouldn't have any thought onto the best friend. Even like, if it they, wouldn't even cross the back of your Yeah, mind. even if you were, fl- even if the mm, boy best friend was flirting with you. You would have been like. Like, I have a boyfriend. Like, back off. Your, your best friend is my boyfriend. Yeah, and then you would have went and told your boyfriend, hey, your best friend's flirting on with me. I don't know what to do. Exactly. But if you really didn't like your boyfriend then you would have been all like oh yeah like yes to alex like you're you're cute cute." like you know yeah it's just like so that's just like having two crushes your first crush second crush always go for the second one because if you liked the first one that much you wouldn't have even fallen for the second one exactly it's just like a thing like if you like this person that much you wouldn't have gone for it the went one. across the back of your head yeah like you wouldn't even come past your mind that like oh yeah like he's cute like no mm-hmm. like the fact that looking finding a guy cute wouldn't come past your mind yeah viewer another viewer's question love the first episode i ha- i hope my questions get picked so my friend's dress looks sl- like sluts so my friend's dress like sluts and are your all... friends dress like a slut your friends oh dress your like friends sluts. dress like sluts and they're all about boys and i honestly have no interest i feel like i'm drifting apart should i change who i am to fit in or be myself and alone i would say be yourself but you're not gonna be alone be yourself and if you think you're gonna be alone then be alone you're always better to be by yourself than with a bunch of people that you don't, don't fit in with who don't care about you who aren't your cup of tea who are fake like you know they talk shit about you yeah. but yet you're still with them because you're like oh like i have no other friends you'll make friends you will eat like at you'll least that cl- friend group you'll get closer with your family you'll start talking exactly. with your siblings if you have siblings you'll start getting closer with your siblings you'll start realizing how toxic they actually were and you won't care anymore that you, you're alone you're because you're going to be having your family and you can make new friends yeah. don't change who you are for anyone no like, like never change who you are for anyone like other uh, spouses friends like anyone family don't change who yeah, you are don't just think for you them. have to be another person just to fit in because if you don't fit in as being yourself then don't change yourself to fit in because be yourself And you don't have to try as hard to try to be someone else. Yeah, like, you don't want to try to be someone else that you're not, like, Like at all. Like, your friends are all going and stealing from a store. You don't want to do it, but they're pressuring you into doing it. You feel you have to do it, right? But then you say no, so they all drop you, and they're like, oh, like, you're a fake friend. You didn't want to do it with us. But, like, you knew it was a bad idea. Uh Uh-huh. So you don't do it. But eventually, you'll start gaining friends who don't force you into doing things, and you can be yourself. Uh, Yeah. Um, So another viewer question. Hey, so I have really bad skin. You guys look amazing. What do I do? How do I fix my skin to be pretty? Like, acne or, like, my acne is so bad. I think, you yeah, I think it's acne. You can't see it on here, but my acne is so bad. I have it all of. I've always had. I've always had really bad acne. Um, it's just like in my jeans. Um, for a little bit, it didn't really bother me. I was like, whatever. But then people started like commenting on it, and it made me like, I'm so fucking ugly. Like this is disgusting. But it's not. I started taking. I started, like, I used this cream to get rid of it. And it eventually just starts going on your own. Don't pick at it. That makes it so much yeah, worse. Yeah. Um, And a lot, you can't see a lot of my acne because of makeup. Makeup covers it, covers everything, anything. Mm-hmm. Scars. I have a scar right down here. Yeah. I have a scar here. Yeah. You can't see any of it. You know that red blotch I have under my eye? Yeah. Makeup covers that. Yeah, you can't see any of it. I have stuff all over my face, all acne, scarring from acne, but you can't see it because of the makeup. But we're not condoning, like, wear makeup. No. Because not a lot of girls don't like to wear makeup. No, if you don't want to, like, if you, no. If you have acne, you, like, take care of it, like, wash your face every day. 
go to your stuff on it go to your doctor see if you can get yeah. help like because there's like acne cream and stuff like that there's stuff you can like take if it's to, really bad there's stuff you can take to get rid of your acne without making it worse because makeup clogs your pores it makes it so bad yeah so makeup is never a good option but if you don't like if you're just like like if you don't have like the money or like all of that stuff like you love yourself like you're act it's not ugly you're not hideous you're not disgusting it's not a bad thing to have acne it's your hormones everyone goes through it okay so hey guys if you're looking if you're liking the q a click the link in the description to join the discord to ask qu their qu these questions or shoot us a dm on any of our social media platforms love y'all <laughs> anyways okay um next question um, are there any viewer more viewer questions okay okay um so do you want to elaborate on like anything we talked about or do you just want to make another question i think that like mm -hmm. yeah i want to elaborate what a girl would do if they're in a toxic relationship and like can't get out of it you know um, for the longest time, I thought to myself, like, oh, if you're in a toxic relationship, just get out of it, just leave. Yeah. Like, but it's, it's really not that simple. And if you're in a serious toxic relationship, you need to seek help. You need to tell somebody, you need to get out of that just, like, with, like, literally everything. If you know it's not right, you have to tell someone, you have to talk about it if you don't talk about it you're not going to get through it you know yeah. what i mean um so another question what made you want to start a podcast um i talked about this in we talked about this in the first episode yeah, it was like the go into too much detail i did it was oh, the yeah, first question um so basically we just wanted to come i'm not sure about you but i know i wanted to come on here to reach those audiences who may not have sisters or don't have or don't have a good relationship with their mom yeah um just to get out there help people with questions they're afraid to ask um no one's name goes up here that like asks questions unless you want your name up no one's name goes up it's an anonymous question and we answer that for you and then you can get out you can get something out of that for like what you need like if it's something about your period and you need a help question on that like it's out there for you or something about a relationship or something that you feel you should tell someone like you can talk we you send it in and then we talk about it yeah i just we just want to be able to help people who aren't able to get the help or are scared of getting the help okay so we just got another viewer's question teen talk help i'm i'm i've over bleached my hair and it's giving crackhead how do i fix it Katrina has a lot of experience with this, this is so my let question. her answer that one okay um could you take this one? yeah um so my hair not naturally blonde as you can tell um i am naturally. a natural it's like a light brown, brown yeah dirty dark dirty blondish um and i've had my hair black i've had my hair red which are the two hardest colors to get out of your hair um just recently with my blonde hair i dyed you guys saw in the first podcast i dyed all of my under part here blue um but it was like semi-permanent dye so it all came out um it all came out it all washed out it was all fine um but like before um when i was first doing my hair i had just freshly dyed my hair black and there was red under it there was multiple colors under it, and i dyed it i went to school with orange hair for a day and i got sent home early because i got an argument with some girl so i had to get sent home early um because i was like you don't fucking like my hair what's your problem what's your problem what if i was a natural ginger you're gonna diss on me but not the other gingers like what anyway so i got sent home for that um okay so back to the question it depends on what your hair looks like if your hair is an orange you got to take a little bit of a break like you're supposed you're supposed to take like a week to let it like not be as bad but i took like maximum one day um so take like at least a day to let that just heal for a minute give your hair a little break yeah um 
and then bleach it again. You have to keep bleaching your hair until you get to that inside of a like banana peel yellow, like a pale yellow, because that's what you can tone it from. Um, and I had to go to a hairdresser. Um, I only went to the hairdressers once in the whole time of bleaching my hair. How's why is that? To get it toned because it was so bad. No toners were working. I needed an actual toner. Okay. Like a hairdresser toner. And it was about like a hundred dollars, I think, which is pretty it's pretty expensive for hair. Um, so again, it depends on what state you're at with your hair. If it's an orange, give it a break, bleach it again. If it's a yellow, you have to tone it. Or if your hair is the color you want it, but it's like dead, lots of moisture in your hair is what is needed. I, when I got the blue hair dye out and everything, my hair was all crusty and stuff. Um, or not the blue hair dye, but like, like when I was bleaching my hair and stuff, I sat in a hair mask for like three hours because my hair was so dry um, because I put baking soda and Dawn dish soap in it. Um, Wait, my question is, um, how did you get the blue out of your hair? Um, it was semi-permanent, so it just washed out in the shower. No, but you only had it on for a few days. Like, what happened? How did you get the rest of it out? I got it, like, in the shower, because I washed my hair oh. a lot, like, a lot. Oh, okay, I see. Like, I washed it, like, not, like, a lot, a lot, but, like, I had a shower. Um, like, the day I got it, I had it for literally, like, four days, five days. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then I just kept washing it because I just didn't like how it looked, and I just wanted my blonde back. I thought you wanted to go for the blue adventure. Blueberry, moldy blueberry. I looked like a moldy blueberry with the blue here and then the white. Like, stop it. Is your hair the color you want it to be now or no? Um, yes, but I just wish there was a little less pink. <laughs> Not pink in it okay so um we're gonna yeah okay thank you guys so much for watching listening and subscribing links in the description for all of our social medias if you have any topics and want and you want to talk about or ask us anything we love your questions everyone stay safe be yourself and always be a bad bitch um, sorry, before you say bye, um, any questions, anything, tap the link to our Discord, and we will answer all of your questions, we will get around to all of them in our next podcast, so just leave the questions there, and we can answer it right on the Discord, right, yeah, and, um, we can answer it there if you want, like, a quick response, or if you want it to be, like, in a episode, we can do that, too, and don't forget to DM us, too. If yeah. you have any questions as well, because we answer those on as well. all our platforms. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.